In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you four ways to use decals and stickers in Blender. The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. I've put a link to the free decal pack in the description. The first technique I'll show you is the one you'll see the most often and is the easiest technique. You need to have the import images as planes add-on activated. I'll first import my decal. And under the Texture tab, in the Settings panel, I'll turn off Shadow Mode, since I don't want the decal to cast any shadows. I add a Shrink Wrap modifier to the decal, and choose the cube for the target. I add a small offset of 0 0.01 to make sure the decal is clearly visible. For non-flat surfaces, the process takes a couple more steps. It is important to make sure your object to which you want to apply the decal has smooth shading. I'll import a second decal and place it in front of the cylinder, as close as I can get it. and turn off shadows. This time I need to subdivide the decal so I have enough geometry to wrap around the sphere. I then add a shrink wrap modifier with the cylinder as a target and add a small offset. I'll now show you a second technique of adding decals to 3D objects using texture painting. This does require UV unwrapping the 3D object. For this tutorial, I'll just use the default UVs which I've saved. I open the cube UVs and under the brush settings I add a base color. I add a texture which I open under the Texture tab. Back on the brush settings, I change the mapping to Stencil, and click on Image Aspect. This is especially important if you don't have a square texture. If I hold down my right mouse button, I can move the stencil. Shift right click allows me to scale the texture, and Control right click allows me to rotate the texture. When I have it where I want it, I use my left mouse button and paint on the decal. I add a second base color and texture. and this time I will paint directly onto the UVs. I 
I can also change the color of my decal and make it emissive. I import the decal and turn off shadows. and unwrap the plane. I then open the shader editor and add a new material. Add a mix shader between the BSDF shader and the material output. I also add an image texture node and open the decal. Connecting the alpha to the factor of the mix shader. I also add an emission shader and connect it to the mix shader. I go back to the UV editor and rotate the UV so the decal is upright. Back in the shader editor, I can change the base color to change the color of the plane. I can change the color of the emission shader, which will change the color of the decal. I can also change the strength of the emission shader. and turn on Bloom under the Render Properties. Note that I'm using the EV Render Engine. I can also use an image for a decal. I downloaded this one from Pixabay. I add a material to the plane and use the shrink wrap technique to add the decal to the plane. using above surface for the snap mode. And turn off shadows. I add a diffuse and a transparent shader. Add a mix shader between the BSDF shader and the material output. I then connect the diffuse shader to the mix shader. I add a noise texture and connect the factor to the factor of the mix shader. I then add a color ramp between these two nodes and adjust the color stop, placing them both towards the center of the gradient. I duplicate the mix shader and place it between the BSDF shader and the first mix shader. I connect the factor of the noise texture to the factor of the second mix shader. 
I duplicate the color ramp and place it between the noise texture and the second mix shader. Move in the white color stop to add more to the edges. I connect the transparent shader to the bottom of the second mix shader. I then increase the detail of the noise texture. I add a brightness contrast node between the noise texture and the first color ramp. Also connecting it to the factor of the second color ramp. When I change the brightness, I can control the amount of rips. If you have a request for a tutorial, a question, or a comment, feel free to leave a comment below the video. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.